All right, so we're gonna be taking off the document feeder for the Xerox 7830 and 35 model. In order to do that, we're gonna to have to start with the back side of the copy and remove the cover and one unplug. So then here, you'll go ahead and take off the cover here. Then from here, you'll expose the one uh, plug you have to unplug. So in order to do that, you'll go ahead and unclip this in order to loosen up um, more tension. Then you'll go ahead and twist these counterclockwise, and then you'll pull right out. Now in order to take it off, you'll go ahead and just raise it up. And then from the back side, you'll have both hands like this. You'll lift up, pull towards you, and then lift right up. All right, in order to install, you'll have to be in the back side of the copier. And then you'll see it'll just drop right in, drop down, and then we'll aim towards the cord. Then we'll go ahead and add the cable back to its guide here. And from here, we'll go ahead and plug this up and turn them clockwise to tighten up. And this is how you replace the document feeder on a Xerox 7830 and 35.